um, how do you, how do, what do you think can be done to ensure the management of contracts in performing their contract without necessarily resulting to a case litigation? Thank you very much. Uh, I think that um, this question has indirectly been answered by um, by um, Oseni, we find Oseni when he did this presentation. And it's just a practical example of how, um, based on the contract that was originally signed by both parties, you provide workout sessions for me, you come to my home. That was, those were the terms of the contract. But because of a pandemic um, that has now um, let me use the legal word, frustrated the performance of that particular contract. They have now had to innovate where they are now using technology to provide that same service. So the contract is being achieved and we are not having a case of disruption. The only thing is because of the pandemic, things have changed. So, so I think in order to avoid issues like this, issues around um, the, the flood of litigation that we know will come up. I think this is the time for businesses to begin to innovate, like Hosseini um, advised. But most importantly, I think those of us in the legal field, and here is a responsibility also on NBA, to make sure that we begin to sensitize the public on the legal aspects to the COVID-19 pandemic and what businesses can begin to do right now, communication, adjusting terms of contract, you know, um, changing some of the terms and just making sure that we don't have um, that flood of litigation. And when we, I'm not trying to take business away from lawyers, but, and when we have it, we should be able to find a way around this so that we maintain um, order in the society. So I think sensitization, I think innovation, I think technology, we need to begin to do that right now in order um, to avoid issues around litigation. 